Bienvenidos, señores y señores. Ah, cabrón. Sorry. Well, I'm so sorry. I have chicken in my mouth. Sanapancino. <coughs> Take two. Saca ese espíritu. Chúpale pichón. Chúpale pichón. <laughs> All right. Bienvenidos, señores y señores, to another episode of Los Terricolas Podcast. The show where we bring our unique ideas and stories to you. While well, sharing the same ground, we all do. I'm your host, Greg, and as always, with me is Irvin and Oscar. Que le pacho, señores. Oh, that's a callback to the last one. That's a callback to the last one. Those clips, those good clips, huh? Uh, we're going to be trying something new, something different, and hopefully it becomes a norm so that way we don't have to keep changing up on you guys. But Irvin's going to come up with the topics, and Oscar and I are just going to, we're going to be here to uh, provide, some, provide some entertainment, because we know Irvin is boring. Fuck. Damn, look at it. Greg only wants to talk about malaria. But all I want to say. I've enjoyed, I've been Measles. enjoying Measles. <laughs> doing the reviews, I feel like that's reviews. Fun. Okay, reviews are cool. So, so what are we reviewing today, dog? So today we're in the season. Is this tis the season time? It's not uh, tis I think the season it's in time. October. Oh, okay, well it's pumpkin it's spice there. season. PSL. So I bought ourselves some that's chicken and pumpkin milk. spice lattes, so we can try these out. Um, Greg has already tried it. I have never yeah, tried it. I, I, I lived in Nebraska for that. I've for never too tried long. it. Why do they drink them so much in Nebraska? White people. Oh, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, it's PSL season, guys! So we. Have... <laughs> so what is the proper way of doing this, Greg? You, know. uh, you want to get a funnel mm. right into the rectum. Mm. Best way. Interesting. <laughs> oh, dude, you know what I just? No, no, it's good, man. It's good. Because Sarah has. Do you guys like pumpkin pie? Sarah has promethazine. Promethazine? Oh, yeah, you should put some like in Oh shit! <laughs> this one's yeah, like a hardcore ass drug. Just start leaning. Isn't that what future? Medicine, I lean. Um, Alright, let's try Okay, this. we're just gonna go for it. Right. You know, Starbucks is expensive as fuck. Oh, wow. I'm a cheap bastard. But their coffee is always at the perfect temperature. Yeah, dude, each of these was five bucks. Yeah, this is Thank you, man. This is yeah, thanks, bud. This is well, actually, an expensive It's not the perfect review. temperature because I drove and I got lost. No, but even minutes. even if they give it to you, like, it'll never burn your tongue. I've never burned my tongue drinking a Starbucks right, right This from. is actually really this good. This is fucking delicious, dude. I was gonna Yeah, man, shit. it has like pumpkin pie and stuff like that. I was ready to like just let them have it. I was gonna be like... I, I don't know why it's so seasonal. Mouth. I guess it's because pumpkins are seasonal, right? Is, is They're it? associated with like uh, uh, fall. This makes me kind of But sad. we're in El Paso. You know what I mean? I feel like there's only two real... Uh, seasons? I was gonna say holidays. <laughs> yeah, seasons. seasons. It's like cold and... What does this make you feel? Like, do you feel anything when you drink it? This makes me regret that I ate all the cookies that I had here. <laughs> kinda, we could have had this. It kind of <laughs> <kinda, it> <laughs> does. It kind of does remind me of like being back in Nebraska, like cold as hell. Does it? Watch, well, close your eyes. It, it tastes thing. better when it's cold as hell outside. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it's good. So I, these PSLs are awesome, man. I love pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. I feel like I'm in a blanket. Like you're in a blanket. Like just warm. And just like like next to a smallpox blanket. Mm. <laughs> blanket. Fire, you're in a small blanket. smallpox blanket. Blanket. And you're like in a cage. Cape like Malin Blanc. A Cape like Malin Blanc. Like a Cape Blanc. Hold on, dude. You're ruining my vision. You're in a smallpox. What are you saying? You're in a smallpox. Wait, wait. You're in a smallpox blanket with Malin Blanc. Wait, wait. 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 Wait, Illmatic. Was, Illmatic is sick. That's nice. Actually, okay. yeah. Um, Sorry, so um, you were saying you feel like you're in a blanket? Yeah, well, I lost it. Hold on. Okay, you feel like a let slice me, of butter over a big old plant. Flapjacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. swig it around. Oh, it's good, dude. Yeah, it's I feel like I'm in with my tasty. abuelita. Oh, shit. And she just, like, turned off the fire on the stove and the fucking... That stuff that they made, you know? What? Tortillas? No, 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 like... Chocolate, Yeah, the chocolate. No, no, no. no. Where I had, like, the stuff on the Maicena. Champ no, no, no. Champurado. Maicena. Atole. 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 Eso me atole. Eso me atole. Atole. Atole el que show Greg ahorita yeah. cuando yeah. llegó. Oh, yeah. The true? Shit. Oh. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but what did I ask you first? Remember, I was like, did you christen your bathroom already? What does that mean? Did you take a shit in it? Oh, yeah. You got a christen in it. Definitely. I mean, I'm pretty sure you jerked off in there already, too. No. No. You haven't? Who jerked off in the bathroom? Yeah, no. I haven't done that since I was, like, eight. It's easier to clean up. I just do it right in the toilet. What the? There's no romance in there, dude. Like, 
No romance. Yeah, yeah romance. No. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying Dude, to I like them the lie. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I treat myself like a dirty pig, man. Damn, like, oh. like the dirty whore you I'm are. Fucking, I'm sitting in there crying like you disgusting <laughs> bastard. No, I'm like in between you and a woman because you know how women they like between you and a woman. <laughs> And well, like they get the vibe territory. going, they turn on the music, the Marvin or whatever they listen to, and they're just like the Marvin whatever. Oh, yes, I just kind of you stroke your chin. Yeah. Or is that your balls? That's, no, that's him cleaning his mouth after eating. Duh. It's because now that I have a beard, it's real. Now good. you have your beard. Ah, you're yeah, more sultry. Okay. Look at you're you're more like, There's a story behind you. You're more sultry, more than and, I and he like he he and has there's more. Nothing here, dude. You have I'm slightly bad. more hair than I. He's the most interesting man. I'm embarrassed while getting around. I don't jerk off, but when I do. But I don't drink a when I do it. Because it's so funny. I, I don't do it on the, the toilet. <laughs> I did the lodge. What are you guys doing into your hand or like a much. napkin? Are you gonna? But are you gonna clean it up? And nah. what are you gonna do? Really, it's just I'm just doing this because I said I'm not gonna shave, cut my hair, cut my nails, cut my nose hairs, or eyebrows or nothing. What? Until I get called for that interview. It's a challenge I have on my own. Why? It's a weird challenge. I don't know because I feel like when I get that interview, I want to go fresh as fuck. I'm gonna be just like <laughs> fresh <laughs> as fuck. Well, but okay, but what about wait? What about Cindy, dude? She likes it. No. <laughs> hey, I wonder if we could put this here. By the way, uh, Melissa, my wife said made a comment. She says that we bang on the table too much. So let's. I'm gonna put this. See, if we can muffle some of that. No, we don't. Jesus Christ, that, dude. What are you talking about? By the way, we haven't. You know, we haven't. You haven't even said what the topic is yet. Mm. But because we're reviewing oh, my bad. the coffee. What, what do you think? Fuck? I like. It. No, I've always liked this. It. Good. Solid. Solid. Ten out of ten. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh. Dude, you you give away your 10s too easy. Like you're, what are you talking about? Last time I said I didn't give a 9. I'm a whore. I'm a yup whore. What do you think? I give out 5 stars. <laughs> <laughs> give me free food at your restaurant and I will yup whore you. <laughs> Boom, bitch. What do you give it? Um, I'd give it a, a good 8. In eight? comparison to the nitro brew that I usually drink. Oh, you were saying that's true. Hey, Oscar, you're kind of out of the shot. Because nitro brew, nitro brew is, a, is a solid 8 in my book, too. So I probably yeah like, I like it too I say an eight as well I agree with you. What do you usually get if you do go to Starbucks? Mocha. Mocha. Like white chocolate. chocolate. You white chocolate yeah, mocha. White chocolate. What's the difference between white and dark chocolate and regular chocolate? Is there a flavor? Well, cho- white chocolate sitting in that chocolate is just <clears throat> candy. You should try it. I've tried it. White chocolate mocha. I like those Hershey's white chocolates Oreo. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Now you know what I like caramel macchiatos from McDonald's. <laughs> dude, those are like yeah, they're, they're addicting, they go, dude. They go, they go shit, man. I swear the cup gets smaller every time I go there. Though. I think this is a good time to introduce our sponsor, Proper Twelve, since nineteen ninety six. Oh, you gonna throw it in there? Dude, it's gonna make it taste like shit. <sighs> you no, it won't. You go wild. It's gonna make me taste like shit. No, it won't. By the way, if you guys ever had PSL? Uh, it's supposed to look like caldo de pinche de lote. Oh yeah, it doesn't look very good. No, it's like it's when yellow. You open it. It's it's up. Okay. I'll put a little bit of mine. You know what it looks like? Turmeric. Oh, yeah, that's true. When you put turmeric and stuff? A little bit, a little bit. So that's Which, it for the review, guys? Are you good? Yeah. I mean, if you're good, man. Hey, man, there you go. I, I was food. like, when did you not grow hair on your peaches? What the fuck? Is it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well. What the fuck was that, dude? Did he drop some shit? What are you talking about? You know what? It tastes like Bailey's. Wow. <laughs> you can never be a magician. <laughs> I turned around, dude. I turned around. Dude, it tastes you like you should have lifted it up. <laughs> it tastes like Bailey's now, but yours is gonna be strong as fuck, dude. This one's hey. gonna like Bailey's. 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 What, what are Bailey's? A Bailey's. Bit closer. Bailey's. It's Bailey's. a. It's an Irish it's drink. cream. Oh. I like has... amaretto. I like amaretto. Amaretto okay. by more. So you already mentioned that we're gonna cut down on the topics. Elkrums yeah, we're gonna cut down because. Let's face it, three Everything topics. Ah, oh, man. Three topics, three it's topics. Good. Every podcast is a, is a recipe for disaster, guys. We're going to run out of shit to talk about. Okay. So then we'll stick to one topic. What do you want to talk about today? Stop okay. making on the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Melissa. That's it. We just lost like five viewers right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. I'm going to have to watch it. Okay, check it out. Check it out. So uh, it I'm out, watching check Super out, Bad check check this out. weekend. Okay. And we fucking identify with that movie so much. We've seen that Hell movie yeah, so true. many times. Yeah, along with so Miller's when I was watching that movie, I, I just wanted to talk about what it's been like growing up uh, here in the city together. And I mean, you left for a little while, but like, you know, some of our like transitions from uh, childhood being together to and teenage then... years to like adult now, I guess. We're, are we adults? We're I older. guess so. Yeah, <laughs> we're older. We're young adults. Yeah. Isn't that like when you're like a teenager? I feel like once you start paying bills and shit... 
or like yourself that you have a wife and oh you have a wife. I think well mature. not a wife but I mean you're guys pretty much you know like yeah. together and one I think I, I believe <laughs> God told you holy believe, fuck dude <laughs> you ruined it I believe I believe age is a state of mind there's more coffee I made, I made chai tea over there I believe I believe age is a state of mind there's though. there's um. There's more, there's creamer in the in the fridge. Shit. I think it's a state of mind, man, because like I think you're only as old as you feel, you know what I mean? But what I does don't that feel even old, mean? dude. I feel like mean? I'm never gonna die. That's badass, dude. That's what I wanna feel. Not Irvin. Irvin's definitely gonna die. I feel like I'm never. <laughs> I feel like I could come back from death. I swear. I feel like Irvin is the only one that's gonna die from the three of us. Because he's. Because <laughs> you're so scared of it. Because he's so scared of it. That's what happens, dude. If you don't believe in death, it doesn't happen to you. That's the secret. I believe in drugs. I'm scared of it too, but is this you gonna put more creamer in there? I'm good, I'm good. Mm. You can pick him up, he's not gonna bite you or anything. That's a good thing I didn't Rocky, pay for this. Rocky I'm... making an appearance? Hello, free coffee, it says. Ah, you know oh, yeah. what? I just. Because you're already. You're already you, have, you have like aspirations and you have a goal and you have a, a set path. To get to where you're going because you want to start a family and, and whatnot, so I feel like that makes you a an adult. An adult when you're already on that path, but when you're young, you just you kind of think about it, but you don't really strive for it. You're just like fuck it. When it comes, it comes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's because I think like maturity and all that shit just kind of falls in line with like experience. You know what I mean? Like some people equate to like, oh, he's really mature, but it's probably like, nah, he probably just has a lot of experience. With X, he already you know? fucked around. Do you think there's a transition? Because there's a lot of old people that act like little kids. You know that shit. Yeah. They don't know how to handle their money. They don't know how to, you know, they don't know how to do anything. They just don't know. How to so handle people them. say like he's an adult. Is that you know? And they say like backwards. Ah, se voy a man he's child. A, he's an adult, but like he doesn't do shit. Like he's a man child. He doesn't have. Yeah. Ya está peludo. Like, <laughs> That's my mom tells me. Ya está peludo. Ya no digas eso. Sí, 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 sí. I've been an adult for a long time now. Yeah, yeah. Since I was thirteen. Since you were 13? Do you have had hair since you were 13? Yeah. You know what, dude? I wanted hair, and then now I'm like, I don't want it. I remember my first I like hair. ass hairs. Ah. Diggleberries. Oh, look, you got comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> from time to time, if I don't wipe From right? time to time. Do you remember time, the, the, the transition from, like, high school you from guy to, to like, the next version? <clears throat> because I think high school me was a very different person. Yeah, dude. Oh, for we sure. Were, we were out there. Well, how, long yeah. has, how long has it been since you graduated? It's been... Ten years, dude. Dude, dude you don't even have. You're not even. Literally, you're not even the same person. Cause you think about like all your cells, like they recycle every couple of years. So you're literally not even the same person. Dude, when That's you cool. hanging, when you were hanging out with Rafi, yeah. you were a completely oh. different person. Oh, for that sure, was dude. weird. I was trying to find myself. I was yeah, like, that was kind of into the were, topic man. that I was gonna pick. Cause I actually had a topic. This you time. did? Uh, what was it? Well, you should have suggested it. <laughs> it was about right? that. About um. Finding yourself and like oh, figuring dude. out who you are and like, both, man. Shit like that. I think yeah. it ties in. It yeah. ties in. So what were you gonna say though? Did you have something in mind? That that um like the shit that you have to go through to figure to figure out who you are and even then now like you still you know, you have to like fucking navigate through the through your fucking mind yeah. and figure it out. Well you do a bunch of shit that doesn't work to so finally find like hey this is what like, I like. Like think about the number one important thing to us back then was what was it? Dragon Ball. It was just hooking up like trying Dragon to hook up with a girl. Trying to okay find how far do how far were you going though? <laughs> <laughs> high school. You're talking I mean, like about high school, school yeah, right? Like, all guys, oh. we just wanted like like in super bad. You, you wanted just, to have a good time. You just want to lose your virginity or whatever. Lose, yeah, yeah, or bang or whatever. Like get with girls and have a good time. That but was you, that was the only thing I wanted. You know what was funny though? I would like be turned off by the really slutty girls. Because yeah, I did have opportunities to like be with like skanky women, and once I was like, eh, you know what it is, right? We had like strong female role models. That's why. Oh, well, I mean, if you like. I don't know, dude. I mean, if you want to give me their numbers and stuff, <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll tell, tell you how slightly I'll tell them. Like, don't, yeah, don't hit them up. Don't like, I wanted them. somebody, hit but, them up. and then, like, but then I was like, ah, but not her. Fuck your bitch. Ah, but not her you, you know what I mean? And it's like, ah, but, ah, not her. But then now, like, that was bef before, like, I was worried about anything else. Like, that's the only thing you're worried about at, like, 17 and 18. You were trying to, it's because I feel like, there you go, becoming an adult. So you were trying to figure out who the woman is that you want to become an adult with. And like make that sacrifice of like giving up all these other things to pursue the house, the family, the the steady job, and all of that good stuff. Yeah, I find it kind of funny because you see a lot of these people. No, and I kind of understand them where they're like, "Fuck that, dude! I don't want to just live in a house and like go to work every day and then come back mm -hmm. and then repeat that over and over again." But I think they're missing the point of like stability. 
mask. I don't think until you do it, you don't realize like, fuck, this is awesome. Like you realize you have your own place of privacy, your beautiful place. And if you have a cool job that you enjoy, like even better, like that's the yeah. goal. You know, like this job that hopefully I get the interview for, of course it's not like my dream job. It's not like where I want to end but up forever, it'll, but it'll, it's a great step yeah. in that direction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like as long as you just keep moving, keep chasing your dreams, like you keep, laying down, keep laying down that brick. Keep yeah, and I down. think I think what's happening now to these kids is that they don't want to do any of that work. They just want to go from here to here. And it's like, I don't want to do anything in between where it's going to require me to like- We've lost that patience. Yeah, where it's like, I want to be just, I don't want to have any shitty times in my life. I just want to fucking live and live. But sometimes you gotta eat a little bit of shit before you eat caviar. We leave, we live in what? instinct. We live in instant Same. gratification. <laughs> no, it's not a saying. I've heard it somewhere. Yeah, There's, no. Isn't uh, caviar like no, no, the no. shitty part of the fish? That's um, uh, <laughs> Gary Vaynerchuk. What? Gary Vaynerchuk. Right? He said that. Yeah, he said that you should. Not a real person. This should. The, yeah, Gary V. What the fuck? He, that oh, he, okay, he's going to abbreviate his last name like it makes it more legitimate. <laughs> Google him. He's, he's spoken to like Eric Thomas, Gary to Vanusha? Kai Green. <laughs> Gary Vanusha? He's, he's, been, he's been on the Joe Rogan podcast. Like I don't know. I've never heard of him. Joe Rogan's not even real, dude. Joe Rogan is just a figure he's a reptilian, of imagination. He's one of the reptilian. Men. I was just thinking about that too. <laughs> how like, I don't understand how some people think that like there's like sac- like blood sacrifices and like Illuminati yeah, and like yeah, Joe yeah. Rogan's part of that and all of that shit like, dude but if you look at it it's like oh I don't even want to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> anyway sorry anyway what is anyways it? Gary, Gary Vanosha people say? are so lazy they're just like oh yeah Illuminati but like okay look at what the Illuminati even is I, I mean I'm glad that shit's over already it's just like <laughs> people are done I don't think it's over <laughs> okay over silly. so that's what Gary V said like oh, shit, at, like in your beginning like in your 20s mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna need to eat shit and like grind it because it's in easy. your 30s that's it's when you're gonna yeah. Pick up the fruit of your labors. That's all he said. Like, eat shit now and, and then the 30s. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be with me. Yeah, like, I'm 28 now, and I'm hoping when I'm 30, I can find What's well, also like, it goes with the time, man. Like, the climate of the time, you know. Like, back in the day when our parents were growing up, like, what kind of jobs could you get? Like, you think back in the day they had opportunities to fucking be like a CEO of well, a fucking for our app parents. company? Like, no, that wasn't even a fucking thing. In their minds, it was like, you go work a trade or something or yeah i mean for our parents go to an office somewhere but like here numbers here in america there's always been like good opportunities blue collar like good a blue collar job and that's the jobs that are going that nobody wants anymore and that's why there's so much availability so much blue collar jobs that actually pay really well Mm -hmm. because a lot of people don't want them because we do live in a a world where you can make money making these kind of videos you know speaking of that how you were saying about our parents how they didn't have that many opportunities Yesterday I was watching this documentary. The, have you seen that new Bill Gates documentary on Netflix? I saw the preview for it. It's pretty sick, dude. So basically, Bill Gates is trying to build toilets for all these people in Africa. Mm. Because over there, dude, you don't even imagine it, but it's disgusting. They just shit on the floor. Yeah. Like, they shit in their water. Yeah. And it's sad, yeah. dude. I think people are dying of diarrhea over there. There's, so there's People shouldn't be dying yeah. anymore. Dude. There's diarrhea. a place in India where they like where they defecate and pee and everything. That's where they wash yeah. their clothes and they drink in water the from ganges. there. Yeah. Like, Holy crap. And then they broke it down to Literally. numbers and they're saying in America there's 300 million people. In these other big countries like uh, India, there's billions better, yeah, of, there's people, of people, dude. How lucky are we, first of all, to be alive? Yeah. Second of all, to be born in fucking America, dude? It's like, like the lottery, dog. Shit. We're not crazy. even mad if you think about <laughs> America. Oh, shit. You think about <laughs> when you win the- <laughs> was great about it. Yeah. You joking? That's the life. That's the life lottery, dude. Like you, you, the life lottery of being born, uh, where you were born, uh, at what time period you were born, yeah. what race, what gender, and yeah. uh, health condition you were born in. That's yeah. like the life lottery. Yeah. When everybody wants to talk about like, oh, you can make your own destiny. I'm like, dude, you fucking just. I mean, it's just dice. harder. It's harder. Like for these people in Africa, dude. Like there was a guy who became a doctor, but. You see all these little kids who have no education, no clothes, no toilets, nothing, dude. It's mm-hmm. just like, damn. And that's something that Sarah and I talk about or we have discussions about because it's like, you want to help everyone, man. Like, you want to help everyone. That's but great. at what point do you help yourself? Like, or the little family you're trying to create. We go back to adulthood. You're trying to create this family with this, with your significant other. But mm-hmm. yet your heart, like, flinches at you or, or you're, it gets pulled. Like, the strings get pulled to where... You're trying to feel for people like shit. I should help them out. Yeah, I should blah yeah. blah. But then your family is all like, "Well, what about us? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We need stuff. Like, right. I think you gotta help yourself first, and then be in a position to be able. To that's well, that's what they tell you in an airplane, right? Like, if the airplane's going down, you gotta put your own oxygen mask first yeah. before you can. Because then you're gonna be like, <laughs> like leading the blind leading the blind. Like, how right, can right. you help somebody else? Well, out? that's also because you, as you go through life, you kind of start to see like. 
um, you uh, you know, it's like that whole saying, like you teach a man, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, kind of thing. Well, have you ever have you ever heard? You heard that? <clears throat> have you ever seen uh, Parks and Rec? <laughs> yes. When uh, Ron, what's his Ron Swanson? He's all like, you feed a, you teach a, you give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Yeah. You never teach a man how to fish. He's just knowing how to fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the thing. Because I, w- you dead know dead what? Because I always think about it like uh, El Puente. Like us, uh, we, I used oh, to go to Juarez all the time. Cross. And when I was little, dude, when I was little, I was like, man, wouldn't it be cool if I just had a crap ton of money? And I would just give to everyone that's like begging for money. And I even told that to my dad. And he's like, si, pero después van a venir mañana van a querer más. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. I didn't even think about this until I was older. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah. you would have to have like... Endless amounts of wealth you, you could just support every single this is how This is how much of a piece of shit I was. We were in the line and I was like, man, I wish I could invent a fucking flying car so we could just bypass all this bullshit and leave. <laughs> yeah, they're called helicopters. <laughs> and I'll wait. But no, I'm but like, that's, what, that's, what, that's what a fucking uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, that's a good point. Fuck is no, that we already have... What did fuck you DeGrasse what did Tyson you fucking bullshit. Say? <laughs> Yeah, he said, like, they're called helicopters, but could you imagine you're in a fucking traffic jam with a bent and like, somebody's, like, just, like takes off, fucking goes around a fucking power line and shit. People can't even drive cars. Do you trust somebody Look, to drive a helicopter? First of all, we all know it's Asian people that can't drive cars. Oh, <laughs> Second of all, I have an Asian friend, and even she's, like, not weird. You've seen that meme that, yeah. that SpongeBob was pr- probably Asian? Because well, he, he can't get a drive, and he's yellow. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh no! Sorry. She knows who she it's is. It's a meme. I didn't write it. You're not a bad driver. You're just. You're what not the, the best. I like how you're. Defending. You're not a bad driver, but you're not the best. <laughs> you're not the best. There you go. <laughs> Good, not great. That's what me and Melissa say. Let's just say I don't feel safe. Good, not great. I would just Let's just it. say. Oh that yeah, but I'd rather drive my own car. <laughs> but that's that was a unique experience that we grew up with, like going Juarez every once in a while and seeing. Yeah, we saw. Seeing that how shit. lucky we are, and it even it speaks to like the immigration stuff, where like people Fuck em. who okay. live somewhere else, they don't understand. Mm-hmm. They don't understand how struggle, how much struggle, how much we is. have to struggle yeah. to get to where we're at. It was at, a little dude. frustrating when you would see like rallies in like in New York and shit, like people like leave the immigrants, <laughs> leave the immigrants, yeah, leave, leave the immigrants alone. Yeah, you don't. More than anything, you don't know. You don't like they, they were talking about how border patrol people are basically uh, like keeping them like the Nazis. Like this lady from from the government, mm-hmm. she was saying that shit, or like they're like. Uh, keeping them in cages like in Africa or whatever and I'm like bitch you don't know like this people the border patrol people have fa- fucking families that they go to and they have to make tough decisions and see these things everyone's just trying to survive dude. and more than anything they don't know if these kids are being thrown up front so that uh, the family these other people maybe they're, they're not even a wife and a husband maybe it's a drug dealer that uses a kid as leeway to get in and then do, does his dirty so work. Much, you don't yeah. know that shit. Yeah. You just no, don't well, know. Then again, it might be a healthy family yeah. that needs another opportunity. But how do you? How do but you, he you, needs to make that choice. Like, imagine not, living with that. Like, it's an impossible fuck. job. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing. Would you let anybody come into your house? Anyone? Yeah. Like, just have this door open. Anybody. I'm serious. Like, be honest. Yeah. And then if you did find out, oh shit, some bad people are coming in here and fucking my shit up. How do you decide who yeah. comes in? And or then, do you just say, yeah. fuck it, I'm not going to let anyone in. But then us also seeing, like like you were know. saying, crossing over to their side and just seeing everybody, like, struggle. And you know it's yeah. good people, too. You know it's people who are, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's not a bad person. Some of them are even our family and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And you're Dude, just, like, my uncle... It just sucks you were born a couple of Excuse miles me. There was away. a while where the people were... More people were going back to Mexico. Remember that shit? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, because oh, of when, the economy. When, when the stuff con- started popping economy, off and, and people, we, the, war started coming. Yeah, all the guys... All the, a lot of people started going back to Mexico because they were taking the jobs of all the older people that were retiring and stuff. Mm. So, my, my uncle had, had got his... Um, visa and everything mm-hmm. like it took him years but he got it and he's an honest man and he, he actually he found himself a wife and he's working over here his kids are working over here like he did yeah. everything legit yeah there's a legit way of doing it it's yeah. just it takes so long dude and, and it's complicated like, we go back to that instant gratification type of deal yeah yeah and he took his time but he he's reaping the fruits of his labor and and he work he works and I, I, I how can i put it man like all my whole family from over there, has done it like that. They've waited. Yeah. And they've gotten the actual visa and everything. So. And when we grew up, since we were kind of in a unique position, because we used to go back and forth all the time, and we never really thought about the process. Remember? Sometimes you never we, really we would just come back, and we would, and they would, we would, we just say American, and they would let us in. Yeah. <laughs> and they would let us in. Yeah, dude. My mom, when she crossed over, like, my mom was an illegal, and she was she was illegal here for several years, and finally, like, 
She was she was one oh, of the I good ones. That. You know what I mean? She was one of the good ones. She was like, yeah, and I, I understand what you're saying too. Like, how do you know they're like good or bad or whatever? But because what does of her, mean, you know? Yeah, because of her, thanks to her, like breaking the law or whatever, I was able to have the opportunities that I've had and been able to like live. It's because imagine, fuck, dude, that would have sucked if I would have still lived over there. Mm-hmm. Damn, I don't even know. Listen, I can't imagine that life. Yeah, dude, I, mean, I feel it's, like it's I, not a perfect system. No, I feel like I'm like Achilles, cause my mom crossed the river with me in her belly. Oh no way! That's she was sick. pregnant for me, and I was like in her belly, and she crossed the river, dude. Does that mean if I hit you in the heel, you're gonna die? Nah, if you hit me in the, nah, I don't know. You hit me in that. No, yeah, but I was trying to be clever. About <laughs> it. Like for people who don't know, like back in the days, mm-hmm. back in the days, people could I just cross. It. Like you would just yeah, walk, no, walk literally like, walk. There was no like um. Security well, or the, custom. I mean, they were yeah. there, but but it was just very easy. Like my mom sh- said, she literally just like as long as you weren't like literally stuffing like a bag of oranges. Yeah. So then we go back to saying like, <laughs> and that she said she saw she thought they heard something, so they all just got scared. But it was like nothing. So, mm-hmm. so what was the topic? So I'm just saying, maybe Growing I'm up. a hypocrite oh, yeah. for saying like they shouldn't let all people in because my mom did cross over here mm-hmm. legally. Maybe I'm a hypocrite. Maybe, but I'm just saying like I, there is enough resources to go around. But there is a, a, a better way of going around it than just <clears throat> pushing people through. Like, fuck it, they're already here and they're suffering. Like, let's just push them through. Well, and, like, but, and then it'll, it'll inflate the system. Let's, let's be honest here. They don't inflate the system. Taxes will go up because we have to make up for the deficit. Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think we don't know, like, <clears throat> in terms of the economical effect or what. I think we're speaking more from an emotional perspective. From True. what we see. True. From what we're, from our parents. From, from our this, own. From this perspective. You yeah. know? So if anybody gets anything from this, it's like, we're speaking from the perspective of people who've, like, grown who are up. kids of immigrants, people who are, like, you know, who have a good future because of their law breaking. Yeah. And because, and they've also contributed their share to like my mom worked for many years like in a factory she contributed to to the economy she did like good stuff so you know it's like we live in america this where everyone's supposed to respect the hustle right you do what the fuck you gotta do to survive right Mm -hmm. and we uh, our parents did that and we recognize that but i think we're also we look at it since we are americans you know if you want to be politically correct we were born in the u.s so we are americans um we we know the laws and the way I see it is like, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do, but if you know that you're breaking the rules and you get caught, then you gotta accept There's the consequences. Con- so when people say like, oh, you shouldn't deport them because they've been here for 10 years, like, well, fuck, I mean, <laughs> they knew they were coming here illegally. That's what they call illegal immigrants. So it's like, I mean, you know, if you, you did gotta nothing accept to your fix fa- it yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not saying the system is perfect. But oh, the yeah. thing is that you know if you make it, you make it. But yeah, yeah you know, good, good thing. Thank God, but it's not. But steps to you know what the make fuck, it right. dude. I think that goes back to adulting, and like the the person you become, <clears throat> like the different person you become, and like the recycled. And I think that's why that generation that my parents belong to, that Hispanic generation, they resent each other. Because they had to adult from a very young age because they, they wanted they wanted this dream and they, they, they wanted to make it over here so they sacrificed their 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 um their youth to be able to live over here and make it together and granted like my parent my dad wasn't the perfect uh, man with the perfect husband, my mom did her best. So I mean I think that's why <clears throat> a lot of Hispanic people resent each other, a lot of marriages end up not working because they had to adult from a very young age mm-hmm. and they like, didn't get to live what we we got to experience like, yeah. we got to live some badass shit yeah like that high school period like we got to experience uh you got to experience college like yeah. i got to experience uh, community i got to experience parties whatever and Just my american culture you got yeah. to experience like freedom that was my dad my dad my dad's all like my dream is to learn english and i wanted to go to school here yeah. in the, the united states like that was his dream like mm-hmm. imagine that and we got to go for free, and we sure. still bitched about it. Like, fuck, yeah. I gotta wake up to school. And my dad was like, I wish I could have gone to school here. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah, dude, we just don't know what we have because we have it. Yeah. It goes back to that thing how we were talking you about. You don't saying, know. How when someone does a good deed, it goes unnoticed. No one cares about it. Yeah. Like, we have got we have stuff that maybe we don't even realize. What's the, or the whole value of a dollar thing. Like, you think, people would think of it as like, oh, you get to learn what it's like to earn your own money. But it's more than that. You get to learn... Not just what things cost monet- monetarily wise, like you get to see the effort and even the satisfaction. Like sometimes the satisfaction isn't what you thought it would be, you know what I'm saying? 
like you buy yourself something or you get to a point in your life and you think like this is all I need but then you get there and then like oh shit like I'm actually still missing quite a bit or I'm still yearning for more I think that's more what's like the value of a dollar is what you realize what things are actually worth oh I know what you in your own mind yeah not just like monetary wise you know what I'm saying yeah yeah you get to live kind of yeah, humbly but- Back to the like whole um, growing up yep. stuff. So yeah, that was a huge influence in our life. You know where our parents came from. So I think that sets a pretty good base for like our topic. Where so that's where we come from. Immigrant parents growing up in a uh, border town. Um, we get to our teenage years where like every other teenage. <laughs> we had, mom, we went all out. Yeah, dude. I don't know if this happens like I'm in other. Her. I don't I'm know if this her. happens in other like <laughs> cities, but like in our high schools. Every other day, like, you hear of a girl getting pregnant, um, like, this kid's a dad now, and all this stuff. Like, I wonder if that's the same in other places. Because here, dude, Maybe. remember in, in Socorro? I don't know. Well, Socorro, Socorro was a big, it was it was big for, um, for the, like, pro, people having sex. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to say it, like, prom- promiscuity or, like, yeah. or, shit. Like, I was trying to make it yeah, more. Yeah, that makes sense. And then smartphones but, started, picture phones started being a thing. So, oh like, you saw, God. like, uh, mad exes sending nudes of their fucking Dude, I remember that. That shit and happened shit. in our high school. Nudes? A guy yeah, sent the nude of a girl. Around. And, and it the fucked it. up part was that the guy that sent the nude had her... Her, <laughs> her brother was at, was there at the school, mm-hmm. and they were friends. Oh, shit. Dude, if that was my friend doing that, I would have fucked, fucked him up. up. He didn't so everybody even fuck got him it. up. Yeah, everybody oh, got shit. it. I mean, you think about it, that was we were distributing child pornography. Yeah, but I mean... No. But we yeah, were underage. We were, but we were underage. No, no, but I'm saying, if, if, if we would have kept that shit... We would, we would have been possession of chopper. So like what I'm 16, saying 17. is, that's crazy. If you got a charge for that, it's funny. Like charges just fuck you up for life, and it's like some stupid shit like that. Oh, I just send the thing. Like Jared. I didn't even get to. The fucked up part was I didn't even get to see it because I didn't even have a phone. <laughs> that was like the worst part. <laughs> like insult to injury. <laughs> that sucks, dude. But and then I you heard, like because the high school that Oscar went to was like what was, how many uh, people were in there? Maybe? I can't remember. The Sarah McLovin. Oh, you go back to Superbad. I feel like there's a lot of topics we can talk about from Superbad. Okay. All right. And we're back. Sorry about that, guy. I was just, uh, we had some Shut your filthy technical mouth. difficulties. Nah, because we were talking about running and this little bitch And I was saying, like, I cannot run with people. I like to run by myself. Because my tampon life one falls off. <laughs> I use pads, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here, let's go it catches the ball. Okay, so. I have another story. Okay, okay. got another story. Superbad type story. Super yes. Bad type story. You, you had a boner and you put oh, it up to your waist. Wait! Almost fully loaded. Dude, did anybody else drop dicks on stuff like in Superman? Absolutely, me. 100%. Sometimes. That was me. I went to the office because of that. Did you win? Yeah. Dude, Dude I drew a big one on a blackboard. Huge. Oh, didn't, they make a, didn't they make a show about that called American Vandal? I haven't seen it. Though. I don't know, but... Dude, I, I would know. draw it on everything. Yeah? <laughs> everything. <laughs> one time, uh, I was in Spanish class, and then there was like this chick, and she left her paper, and like, it was... Drawings of little dudes, right? And each mm-hmm. one was doing an action. It was like, <laughs> you had, a to, dick on you had to like translate it to whatever it was doing in Spanish. And one of the guys was just sitting on the beach like this. So I was like, how do I not draw a dick on that guy? You know, like <laughs> perfect position. So I just drew a nice one. And I was a like, big yes. baby triumphant yes. bastard. Yes, and I was like, excellent. <laughs> and then uh, she sits down, and then all of a sudden the teacher's coming, and the teacher saw. <gasps> and I was like, oh no. So then, sure enough, like they called the office. And then the super, uh, principal came and got me. And then they're just walking with the paper drawn with the dick on it, walking down the stairs. I'll never forget that moment because as she walked, every like back step she took, I could see the picture. I was rocking next to her. Oh, there's the dick. And I was like, there's, Is yeah. that a cringy moment for you? Do you guys have moments like that where you like kind of feel embarrassed for what you fucking did and you just have like, ah, like, okay, so it? from when I'm young or when I'm old? No, you're, I mean, old. Isn't cringy it? moments? Dude, I, I go through them almost on a daily basis. Doesn't it suck? Like, you kind of get embarrassed, like, ah, what did I do that for? Like, why, why did I say, I say that? that? I feel like you have one in uh, I have a crap, I have a shit ton of them, but uh, one of them was uh, when I was in first grade, I, uh, I was experimenting with acoustics in my, in, my, in my head. And so like, if you guys ever done this, you sound really loud because you know, all you can hear is like the echo inside of your, of your head. And so I was like, fuck, that sounds badass. So I was just doing this, like, mm, like humming. And I was like, it sounds really loud. And I was like, Hmm, I wonder if everyone can hear. This is how stupid I was. Like, <laughs> I wonder if everyone can hear what I'm hearing. Because when I did this, I couldn't hear anybody else, but I could just hear myself. <laughs> so I was like, I wonder if everybody hears what I'm hearing. Now, 
Don't ask me how the fuck this makes any sense, but I was like, I bet you I can scream real loud if I cover my ears, I can scream real loud, and it wouldn't even make a noise because everybody <laughs> wouldn't hear me. Because I guess it's because I thought, because I, I couldn't hear everybody else, no one could hear me, maybe that's what I was Damn. supposed to think. So I was like, I gotta experiment it. So I was a scientist back then. So the fucking teacher was on the board, and she was like writing something like, can't tell you. I just fucking out of nowhere, I was just like, Ah, like screamed loud as fuck. She, she fucking flinched and shit. Damn, dude. And then she was like, "Go to the corner." And, I'm that- like, and I was like, "Well, that was a field experiment." <laughs> but like, I, I think about it, and I'm just like, "Oh, I fucked that shit." It's so dude, it's cringy. I've it's- done a lot of cringy shit, man. But I've, all the little, all the cringy, all the cringy, cringy shit, dude. This thing's hitting. Me. All the cringy yeah, shit. Imagine done, this one, dude. Fuck. All the cringy shit I've done so is cringy. because I'm trying to call attention to myself. Like I'm, yeah. All the cringy yeah, shit. Yeah, me too much. You do too yeah, much. Like, yeah, like, ah, I, used, I took it too did far. Did you do this shit around girls? So they do that shit all the time. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yes. I remember this one time. We were having a field day, and I swore I could bust a front flip. And I'm going to bust <laughs> In front of the girls. In front of the girls. <laughs> and look, I, look at me. Look at me. Woof. <laughs> when I landed on my back. <laughs> I don't no, know dude, why. I, I swore to... I could do it. I swore I could land it. I swore. I was like, I'm going to stick it. I have a worse one. I have a worse one for you, dude. This was eighth grade. I used to go up to girls and be like hey what's going on and like they would grab my hand like to shake my hand and then i would flip like if they flip me okay like like oh you're so, so you're strong pretending. yeah like i would pretend like they flip me because you you're so strong that, dude? yeah i'd be like hey come on you know fucking damn dude you can smell it <laughs> 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 yeah like i would go like this like, <laughs> and, 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 and i'll be like whoa you know like i do like that whole like whoa! like they flip over and I'd be like you're so strong you know you're a weirdo and they would laugh for like a second they fall in love with you. And They'd be it, like, oh my no, god, go running by you, yourself. You know why the only reason people kind of liked me around? Because I beatboxed. That was like the only saving thing that I had. <laughs> and then I would get all mad. I'd be like, I can do more than just beatbox. Like, I got all like fucking prideful. I'd be like, I can flip. I don't, uh, I don't <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't want to beatbox just because you asked me kind of thing. I was like, yeah, oh I was getting god. a fucking attitude about like it, dude. You're, like if you're the shit. Yeah, like I, I was getting what I wanted, which was attention. <laughs> but I was fucking resentful. Like, oh, uh, I have other talents. I tell you what, though. Monwood... El Dorado in America's had the best parties. Really? Socorro had some bomb parties too. I remember. Oscar. What? Do you remember that party? Which one? Where we fucking. Uh, I don't even know where it was. I think it was over there, like, Ayana del Desierto, somewhere in Okay. Clay. And I had to take a shit really bad. <laughs> remember? No. And I, I don't Keep know why going. I didn't do shit. And I was like, I gotta take a shit. And Oscar was like, well, fucking go away. Just go over there in the bush. <laughs> took a massive shit. Yeah, did they have a party? Who does no, that? No, no, no. Like in the, did somebody walk back there to smoke or something? No, 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 no. We're, it was in the desk. By the way, like what outside shits with? outside shits are like the best, man. Yeah, they are. I just took one not even a day ago. It's because you know what it is? Because your position, I think, is it makes the turd just come like straight. What did you wipe with? That's the thing. Oh, I was, like, I was like, yes. I was like, dude, you have like paper or napkins? And you're like, no, I just use one of your fucking socks. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, I, so I fucking can't went to the party with anywhere. one sock. You can't take you anywhere, sock. dude. You're just shitting all over the place. I was like so embarrassing. I'm like walking That's around. I bet you everybody knows that I'm, wearing, I'm not wearing a sock. I was just like, <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad I had my party times though in high school. Like, I think I got like my got yeah, like right now. I think I am in that next stage of my life where I just want to live in a house and just watch TV with my. Air I do. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy going out with Sarah to like, to have a drink and and go to dance and stuff. But, um, I feel like like you said, you eat shit now and then eat caviar later. I feel like the time that time is now. Like yeah, for me to do that right now and then later on, I'll enjoy everything like the way I want to enjoy it. Cause yeah. I'm very, um, how can I put it like. Um, uh, like See? grandiose, like I, uh-huh. like I like to do. I, like when I like to do shit, I like to go all out, and like I want to be that guy. You know, like I want to be that guy that buys bottles and like all this yeah. shit. And right now I can't do that. Like who the fuck am I kidding? I can't do that. Like yeah. I can buy you a shot, and after that you're probably gonna have to buy yeah. me one or yourself something. Yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you guys feel like you're getting a little see now a little bit? What I feel like mean? that does kind of happen. What do you mean? See now? Like, like the what? little thing, there's things that maybe when you were younger didn't bother you, but like now you're kind of like, hmm. Like what? See. Like the fact that... First like, of all, define like, see people now. Call it, yeah, people, fuck see, see now is like old people, you know, they get like uh, like cynicism. They get kind of like gloomy like about everything. Like, ah, fuck like, that. Like that. Kind of yeah, cranky, yeah. you know? I don't but, trust uh, Greg. But, but the thing is that... Like mm-hmm. people think that we're loud, probably because you don't know us that well. Like people who watch us are like, "That's fucking." No, they don't think. But we used to be, we used to be a lot louder, 
And now when I see people who are like really young and they're just loud as fuck, I'm just like, oh my god, shut the fuck up! Like, there's no reason for you to act that way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the way that we're talking right now, that's, that's how we used to talk everywhere. everywhere. But we don't do that anymore. They're still in that stage of their life, dude. You know? Yeah. What I mean? No, like, no, I'm not saying like, I'm not talking anything, shit. Just be loud with that. But them. do you guys feel that way about certain things? Like we'll maybe like, like that. Like you were talking about, like you used to party like a lot, but now you're kind of like more calmado. Because we got our fill. Like tequila, tequila. Uh, Do you think that's a little bit kind nah, of Nah, I feel like Because I wasn't worried Back then I wasn't worried about being an adult About adulting Now I do worry about being an adult and adulting Like a stigma or what? What do you mean? Like there's like a stigma about it? Like people might be like Oh, he's not a grown up anymore like Some shit like, like that like, I just, I knew, I knew that Back then like My dad had my back Like if I needed cash pff, My dad like Here you go Money Ga- I need gas. Let's just think about like why would we party back then? It, it was just because we wanted to just meet girls, like true, true. hang out, just meet girls, hang out with time. girls. Yeah, like dude, I broke my leg and I was going out. Yeah, like you wonder like the things that you did and you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. And it's because sometimes you just like were rebellious. You like you didn't want to be that type of person, or you didn't. And you're like, ah, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drive fast. I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? And just like. I mean, that's all it is, man. We're just going through life. Like, hey, you guys know what I was thinking about the other day? Figuring out life. You know what I was fucking thinking about? You guys ever seen that, that movie, The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? It's a good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Totally they, they, erase, they, they erase, well, I mean, some people, I've, I haven't even seen the first Rambo. Mm. I just saw it. It's first sucks. Blood? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> he kills all these people just because, like. Because the sheriff. For right? no reason. No, but anyway. So, I'll tell you when it's done. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that was unnecessary. In that movie, Jim Carrey gets his memory erased so you can forget about this girl. Oh, I just spoiled the whole fucking movie for you. And then, no, I mean, it's 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 more than that. But but could you imagine if there was such a thing that you could do that? That do you think that would help people like get rid of like the depression and shit? Like do you think that's how simplistic our memories are? Like if you could just take away one memory, maybe. or and I was like thinking like man, you could take it a step further. And whatever the fucking government got involved and it was like fucking regulated by the government it's like hey this person's got a lot of fucking fucked up past let's fucking monitor him for a while yeah. and if he still has these violent tendencies just fucking off him right now that way there's no more evil people in the world it's because there are situations there are shitty things that might happen in your life that might actually make you a better person no, but like no, but, you're but saying you, yeah there's but, shitty things but, that make you but like but don't you think that there's people who are just, just inherently up. kind of violent like maybe like a chemical evil. imbalance or whatever wouldn't that narrow it down you know what I'm saying? Because, like, technically speaking, like, uh, my therapist even told me that people like me, like, from, come from broken families, like, divorce and shit, are tend to be, like, just, uh, not bad people, but, like, you know, like, they get into, like, uh, bad about, things in life, like, uh, delinquents. Kind what of about, thing. like, me? I'm, a nar- I'm narcissistic as fuck. Yeah, How but where did that become come from? Narcissistic That's what I'm shit. saying, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, you, you imagine if uh, you, you look at someone's memories, like, oh, this guy had a really good childhood, but he still has violent tendencies. Wouldn't how you, you be able to determine... You could cut that part out. Okay. <laughs> the thing is, it, goes back, it goes back to that abortion thing. A little bit, but... Because I made a podcast about that, and I was talking about we don't know, right? We don't know what a person's all about before they're even born, obviously. But if you could, so would it be ethical? This test so is not... It's like... It'll tell you into the future, like, yeah, this person is no, just no, no. never going to change. It wouldn't tell you in the future, but it would determine... With a cl- pretty close proximity. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. So what are you out. saying again? So, uh, so here we again. It's because fir- the first thing I was thinking about, like, could you, if you could erase people's fucked up past, you think they would have a better future? Like, people wouldn't be anxious anymore. But then okay. I was thinking of even further. What if, if you can actually look into someone's brain and determine, like, because of these uh, past tendencies. things or because of these tendencies or because of these no, chemical dude, levels unethical. imbalances, this person has a 99% chance of going to kill somebody, rob somebody, rape somebody. What do we do? Do we ameliorate her right now? We fucking kill him or put him in jail or whatever the fuck? Damn. Send him to like a fucking you camera. You word girl, huh? Ameliorate? Uh, no, actually, cyber chase. Word girl. Cyber chase, Ines. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that's unethical. Is that shit, unethical? Dude. So here's my question to you. So can we know that down the line, yeah. this person, even if they receive treatment, they will not change? Yeah, because I'm yes. assuming like that's how fucking advanced it would be. So that's it, like this thing would tell you like you know what? Even yeah. with treatment, yes. Even with yes. rehab and everything, this person mm-hmm. down the line is they, not going to change, and yeah. they're still going to. And they have a 99, like like a pretty fucking high percentage rate of success every time. Like they're never, they're hardly ever. But wrong. what did you think? Like if technology is that far advanced yeah. to where like you can figure out what a person's going to do, you can probably the technology is probably going to be advanced enough. Isn't there to a to move stop already? To where you can fix them. 
Isn't there a well, movie that's already the about that? We're talking about? <laughs> that's a horror movie. Wait, isn't there a movie already about that? That they could look into like future crimes? I think so. That are going to happen? No way. Yeah. No, so. Wanted is with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. yeah, but remember they had that thing that you could see the list? But see, sí, pero no, no, no. What I'm talking about... <laughs> there is a movie about that. Like, where yeah, I don't remember. It's like a pool and like they pick it up and like it, yeah, it they shows did it in you a like, future crimes. They did it in so, Futurama. I still think no, that's an ethic. It's a movie. No, but they did it in Futurama too. I'm gonna Google it. They did it in fucking Futurama! They did a parody of it, bitch. I don't give a fuck. It just doesn't... I don't know. You're, no, look, this is, this is a hypothetical situation. But this isn't that fucking interesting to think about? Like, if you could... If you could stop a crime, that's basically what I'm telling you. If you could stop someone getting murdered or raped, would you do it? But, yeah... Fuck, like, fuck your feelings and shit. That's what I'm saying. It's because you gotta be logical about this. It's like, remember when that guy, when he fucking slammed it on the table and he's telling you, if your fucking mom was getting beat with a fucking pipe, would yeah. you fucking stop him? And if you're like, I wouldn't even, how the fuck did you even come up with that question? But it puts you to think, would you? If you could, and you knew for a shadow of doubt that that person's gonna fucking die if they get hit with that pipe one more time. Oh, okay, but you're saying like, without a shadow of doubt, this person's gonna kill somebody. Yeah, or hurt somebody. Ah, that's tough, man. I it's guess. a tough situation, yeah. right? It's a tough situation. I mean, we're not even talking about vigilante here. We're talking about like a humane way. Minority report. With Tom Cruise. That's what that is? They know. Oh, probably people movie. are like, it's fucking minority. <laughs> yeah, look, it's uh, they commit crimes, uh, future viewing technology that allows, they, it allows them to see mm. crimes that are going to be committed. Yeah, right, they right. haven't been committed. Okay, yet. okay, okay. Maybe okay. we should watch that movie and then come back next time. Actually, I'm not. Ah, but I want movie. to. But what do you guys think? Is, do you think it's ethical or? I don't think it's ethical. You know, it's it's like, it's like um, abortion, dude. Like, it's, it's, it's like, it should be their choice. Like, like, but dude, you are, like, it's like telling the person, like, dude, you are going to kill people. So, like, <laughs> you, <laughs> I, I, you wanna... You're like, oh, shit, I'm but like, oh, I don't know. Like... But abortion is not a crime, though. It's not a crime, but what I'm saying is the choice. I think it goes back to what it's we It's their choice about. whether to do it or not. So, like, that person that's going to be killed Ooh. is like... It goes they should back. have that choice. Like, you know what? You are going to be a fucked up person and eventually you are going to spend the whole rest of your life But it goes back to what we were talking about last time to where like what determines a person's personality? Nature Damn. versus nurture. Nature versus like, nurture. Get, the, get these people who are going to be like killers and then put them in a nice <laughs> People are fucking going ape shit with them. Sigmund nice Freud. Sigmund uh, Freud, that's the, that's the guy. That's the guy who decided that, that. No, 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 that's the guy that, yeah, that, that oh, started the guy who sing study. Hello, Darkness, my Oh, wait, that's Simon and Garfunkel. No, but <laughs> seriously, like, yeah, I mean, if it comes to that, like, okay, just transfer these people to, like, a that's, nice environment. I like Oscar's situation Rather than better. kill Where? them. I like Oscar's situation murder. better if they fucking look at your baby and it's like, your baby's gonna kill, like, 500 people. Oh, shit. Okay, you're talking about babies. I thought we were talking about actual. <laughs> like, I thought. What? And we're okay, talking about babies. How old, but I mean. How old into their like life lifetime? Eighteen. So at eighteen, they do this test. They're like you know what? Blah 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 blah. But I mean, by eighteen, have, by eighteen, people could have killed somebody. But they should you have. You guys want choice. us to say we want to kill people? No, no. It to I'm asking like, you guys for 18? real. Because okay, that's 18? the type of shit that so I look, think about. Dog. Sigmund Freud. Your personality is already like a little. He was an out. he was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysis, a clinical method of treating psycho. That's, yeah, that's the guy who also said that your first attract your your attractive person is your mom that you fall in love that with. That dude your mom. probably fucks some goats. That's why I'm always attracted to big asses. Because of your mom. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Cause of my mom's, <laughs> but I like big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but I like big boobs. My mom doesn't have big, that big boobs. That makes me uncomfortable. So how do you like big boobs? Mm. Is it because you never, you were never breastfed? Oh, you know what? I don't know. My my dad's side of the family has big boobs. If you can't say you like big boobs because I mean I don't know about me, but like, sometimes I like them and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm, like, but I'm not you. Sometimes like those small. I mean I'm saying like you don't feel that way. You have a consistent like I always always like big boobs. Every day, every second. You know what? I, mine changes every week. Me too. I'm like, you know what? This week is ass week. I think I go through cycles. I like asses, but I'm just saying I prefer. I boobs. love legs. I love toned. You know how women go through their periods? Oh yeah. You know how women go through their period? <clears throat> I think men have man reads too. Yeah, we do. Man reads. But for man us, it's like more cool what the stuff. Fuck? Like we don't bleed. We just like. Why like do you call them man reads? We don't. We don't, don't bleed. We just women periods or periods. <laughs> we don't bleed. We just period. become more of a bitch than we were. We already are. I do though. I feel like I have a period every once in a while. I think I have a period every once in a while because I, yeah. I get real sad for no reason yeah. and I'm like what the hell yeah. and then I'm like I'm probably on my man right now yeah well, isn't that like libido falling down and that kind of what it is maybe I should analyze myself low testosterone like, what's happening low T fucking beta male bitch well after I work out god damn what boy. does that happen to you after you work out a lot a lot a lot like consistently do you get like a crash yeah because you're 
Testosterone. Your endocrine system and everything like is shutting down because it's not recovering. It's, it's not replenishing. Mm. So that's why rest days are important. Yeah. For me at least, rest days are really important. Yeah. To where I just take it completely off and I actually shut my brain off in the sense that that I don't do other stuff. Like yeah. I don't I yeah. don't take up my time with other stuff. Like I just completely shut everything off yeah. and I'm just laying down. Does it happen resting. to you too? Like I've noticed whenever I go like three days of hard like running Boxing, everything hard, my erections get a little softer. <laughs> it's because your endo- your endocrine system is tied to your testosterone and yeah, everything. Yeah. And I got worried one time. I was like, shit, like what's happening? I'm working out hard, like I'm super intense. What it's, the fuck's happening? It's just I'm your right. body is depleted, and then that happens. That's because oh, you're not working out hard enough, you motherfucker. Because <laughs> <laughs> you run by yourself with your headphones on. Hey, mama, that. You know what worries me? Like I'm scared of the day that my erection isn't as hard as it used to be. That's why. That's why they have um, Viagra, Rhino pills, MF Force, Rhino pills. Oh no, MF Force is the best. Have you ever seen those at the gas station? No. (laughs) Yeah. Taken one before? No, I haven't. You know who's taken some before? Israel. Israel has. Israel takes that shit because with his medication, again, Israel has a mental illness, which is known (laughs) as schizophrenia, and he. So he has Viagras. He has to take medication. For it, and I don't know if you ever seen the movie Beautiful Mind. Bump some from him. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. He, they they prescribe him for him for a while. But mama's like, I'm not taking no sexo para que no mando. Pero pues qué decir que que si se quiere calar. He jerks off a lot, like a lot. Déjalo. Unnes- like unhealthy amounts. <laughs> oh my god. Like I'm pretty sure he has a rash 24/7, and I'm pretty sure like. So he doesn't use cream. I haven't gone as far as asking him that. <sighs> so I'm sure he does not have a rash. My only question is, <laughs> where sure does all the semen go? Holy I don't shit! Know, dude. If you go into a room with a black light, it's just like, oh my ah, god, it's boy, everywhere. It's like a bunch of ghosts lows after a while. Ghosts. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, but um, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, well, this medication like it kills his libido, so he doesn't like. That's it. why. Why would your mom not want to give him at well, least every now and then? What my mom does is she just gives him a pill every other day too, so that he's like not a, also like an erection pill. Yeah, and it also helps. No. Well, you talked about that. Like, you talked about. Oh, how she the found a good pill. You talked about how she found a good balance. Actually. Yeah, yeah, and then if he gets like, I don't think those Viagra give you get you horny. I think they just give you a boner. Give you a boner. So he has a boner for no reason. Yeah, he's just so he's around. sad with a boner. Yeah. <laughs> He's all like, fuck my life. Yeah, he's a hard ass fucking. I mean, I guess it's like a, I guess it's like a, well, at least I got this going on. That's a weird me. moment. Huh? How, can you, how can you be sad with a boner? There's also two things in like, hello, Santa is my old I mean, after a while, it gets sore. Does it? Like, you never had sex, like, con- like for a couple times, oh, and yeah. then you're, like, sore a little bit? Of course. Like, the next boner is more sore. Okay, first of all, if you say that you can, that you want to go several rounds, you're a fucking whore. Oh, shit. <laughs> First of all, I was more fucked up all, than what I said. What are you talking about? Or less gen- like, about sex, the like, man or the woman? And the woman. <laughs> Second of all, it's like if you didn't enjoy the first one, like if you didn't give it your all in the first one, like you're not having sex the right way. Like I don't know. You're just doing it to compete at this. You're point. just you're just fucking. Who are you fuck. competing with? I don't know, because I feel like one and done is pretty good when you like give it your all. Like you like. Emotionally connected yeah. and, and like everything's like and right climax at the exact yeah. same time. That's a beautiful moment, dude. When that but happens. But if you can if you can achieve that every time, like oh I need three rounds or four rounds and like bitch, no you don't. You're a fucking whore. I think at that point it's just because you want to be dirty. It's because there's also different types yeah, of sex. There's right? different types of sex. There's like there's like or maybe love. I'm just being a bitch. But we can't because I can't go three rounds. Yeah, we can't relate <laughs> to women. They have multiple. Yeah, orgasms. there's like love making where you just want to look at each other in the eye and you want to be like. <laughs> hey, like, <we're> <laughs> and then you took it too far. Yeah, yeah. And then there's other moments where you want to be like, "Perra, vente pa acá." Because guys, okay, what okay, if every far. day, what <laughs> if every time is that time? Women, women are like a. Fucking, then she has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> women, women are like a fucking Uzi. It's like grrr, grrr, grrr. Guys are like a double barrel shotgun. Boom, boom. Spread the weight, better. Oh, actually, more like a bayonet. You gotta like. We're like bayonets. It's like. One. Yeah. Oh shit! Gotta load it nah, up. Nah, nah, nah. nah. We're a bow and arrow. You gotta get the thing, and then you, you gotta can load a bow and arrow pretty fast. Light it. Haven't you seen fucking Legolas? And then you gotta pump it, <laughs> and then you gotta aim, and then you gotta fucking yeah. And put the get the scope. But, this, <laughs> but <laughs> women are like, brr, brr, brr. it's, it's always ready to go. It's always working. It's always working. But they take longer to heat the, to warm up a little bit. Yeah, like the foreplay. I hate that shit. Cause there's times where I don't want all of that. I like it. I enjoy it. Like it gives me heart as fuck. Yeah. Mutual <laughs> mutual kidding. masturbation is gotta be the mutual best. Mutual masturbation. Yeah. yeah, that sounds nice. I man. enjoy it a lot. Like just next to each other. Uh, I'm doing like it's 
I'm doing it for her. She's doing it for me. Oh, like how we went damn. From growing up to jerking off. And That's part of growing up, dude. Sex. Sex is a beautiful. Sex, drug, and I feel like if you don't talk about it, and if you don't, if you don't have conversations about it, and you make it taboo. Yeah. Then it will always be taboo, and and you shouldn't be ashamed. To Dude. talk about it. You know what? My tias actually talked to me about masturbation. No way. Yeah, they're I all... was about to say that they're in the Mexican... Like, probably right now, if, like, Mexican people are watching this, they're like, Asquerosos. I know. ¿De qué están hablando? Yeah. Yeah. My mom told me a funny story. Mijo, cierra los ojos, mijo. No, cierra los ojos. No te toques. Why would you yeah. touch me your ears? Tu Sara, tu Sara tienen yeah. sexo. <laughs> My, Nico, tú dijiste my, que my, virgen. Dude, no my, casado, no. Dude, my mom told me this hilarious story about like Wait, 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 let me finish saying it real quick Just give me a second I'll Okay, okay, go, go, How go. weird it is that like in other countries like ne the Netherlands The parents the Netherlands. actually give the kid their room so that they can bang And they're like, okay, are you guys, is it time for you to guys have sex? And then they like the open the room and they give it to them so And they proper. give them condoms and shit like At least it's weird how different cultures are You yeah. know what I mean? My tia is talking to me about it because I was at the Which one? Uh, from what is actually oh okay I don't, not my tia yeah no oh, okay, okay. my tia from mother she's like you know what it's it's normal it's it's healthy and it's it's uh you're at that age where it's gonna you're gonna do it more and more and blah 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 so I was like you're right like yeah yeah, yeah. like if you have kids oh I'm sorry Greg go ahead so no okay. so your mom was telling you yeah she yeah. told me this funny story about I guess like one of my tios uh, was dating this girl and like. Uh, uh, what, the the mom the girl came came to talk to my grandma like when they were obviously when she was a lot younger, um, and like she was saying like hello like I can't believe it I'm sorry mucha vergüenza like I can't believe what my daughter did like she should not be with your son like she's not worth it like she's so basically wait, saying, wait wait so the mom's the mom from the girlfriend yeah the girl the girl's mom came okay. to talk to my grandma saying okay. that, that that my tío should dump. Her, her daughter. Because they slept together? No, no, no. That's what, that's what my tia thought. Or my grandma thought. She was like, yeah, they had sex or whatever. Okay. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, that's so embarrassing. Like, the other day, I heard I heard my daughter ask her son to go buy her, uh, uh, like, cotex. Like, oh, the, the pads. The pads. And, like, and, and, then, and my grandma, apparently my grandma was outraged. Because my, my mom was, like, listening to me. Yeah. Shit. And she said that my grandma was like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Like, it was, like, super I outrageous. Grandma? Yeah. And, like, oh. she was like, she said, no, y voy a hablar con él. Y va a ver, vas a ver. Who said that? Who? My grandma was like, Wait, but what are we talking about? Melissa? Told you to go No way. Like, hey. What the hell, dude? Wait, wait. Lost. Okay, so one of my tios was dating a girl, yes, and it, that girl's mom went to talk to my, my gra grandma. our grandma, my tia Teresa, my abuelita Teresa. Yeah. Talk and about how <laughs> how the girlfriend asked my uncle to go buy pads when yes, my grandma her. got upset. And my grandma was like, yeah, they were both like, oh my God. Yeah. And like, they were like so upset. And then like, I guess my grandma confronted my tío about it yeah. when she got home. And he's like, ya me dijo, ya me dijo que, que le andas comprando no, cotex, no, 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 cabrón. Dice, que, que fuiste, y, y, y que te pidió que le compraras, ni lo quiero decir. <laughs> like, like, it was like super Holy taboo. Crap. Super taboo. And like, it was like, my, I was, my mom was telling the story and we're all fucking dying, dude. My mom should start a YouTube channel. Dude, yeah. It's, it's hilarious. Crazy. It's crazy, like, how culture. You should bring your mom and my tia. It's hilarious, like, dude, did you dude. guys know that traditionally in Mexican culture, if you're going to do it right, when you're going to marry the woman, you and your mother and your father have to go to the woman's parents. Ask for their hand. And go ask for their hand. I asked for Sarah's hand. But you took your mom? No. Apparently, that's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to hire, take the pan. I went, I went to, to Sarah's mom's house and I asked her if I can marry Sarah. That's beautiful, man. I want to do that. And I'm looking forward to that my moment. Mom yeah, mom. dude. It's, uh, we cried together. And oh, dude. Each other. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but mine, was bad. mine was backwards. I told my mom I was going to get married and she cried. And she was like, no, 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 I'm like, what? Why not? What the fuck? Yeah. It's really not the same. Not the same I was expecting. So it's a beautiful moment that you're going to share with your yeah. with Cindy's mom. I'll Were you expecting that, that reaction though? Or was it not something <laughs> you I mean, I didn't think she was going to be like super happy about it, but I didn't think she was going to fucking start crying. But why do you think she was not going to be happy about it? Did you uh, not do it the right way? Because like, you're the only or child or at that. I'm the first. I was the first. The first. The first. Yeah, the first. You remember how protected my mom was. Yeah, hell yeah. You're the first one and you're the boy. So... She was yeah, all telling man. me like, "Taquita todo el dinero," like all this crazy shit. Holy crap! And then I went to She's go all to... projecting her fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I talk... That's I talk... true, dude. Parents and then, do and that. And then I talked to my 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 in laws, and she was like, "Well, no, that's what you guys think." And I'm like, "Oh my god, is this what support feels like?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Because like, I feel like my mom has not had like 
you know, a lot of luck with relationships. Like she's had yeah. long term, but it it hasn't materialized to where she could marry and have like a beautiful. Yeah. You know? So I feel like she has a fear of that. So sí. now I feel like her fears have projected onto me, yeah. where she's like, "No, me pues con cuidado." Sí, like, sí, sí. and I'm like, "Mom, I love Cindy. Like, you don't understand. Cindy you know, me. and it's hard for like also mm. because the parents don't understand and they don't see your relationship every day. They don't yeah, see like the but, beautiful moments that you and yeah. your partner have. You know what I mean? Right, like right. your mom didn't yeah, see yeah, you and Melissa true. like yeah, 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 grow sure. together. Like, yeah, she didn't know. Have like beautiful moments where you change and shit like that. So. This, for them, it's just like, oh, but, I just don't want my son to get hurt. Yeah. I just don't want my son to, like... Have the same experience. Exactly. Like, but but do you think thing. if we could erase your mom's memory... Oh, my God. That she wouldn't oh, think about this. Think about that. She'd just be... Like, what? Think okay, about what you do with wouldn't, you first, imagine, wouldn't you imagine if you could take all, away every preconceived notion about, like, any race or anything, and you could just keep all the good shit? First of all... everybody being equal You'd be deleting... Shit. You'd be deleting... Big part of personality. Part, big part of... Uh, think, it's, yeah, it's like the butterfly effect. Yeah, you, you can change can, one thing and it's and like... And then it's going to change everything mm, else. Like you kill the, all the mosquitoes in the world and all of a sudden you thought you just okay, killed the mosquitoes. Okay, what if you could implant? Like, oh shit, it's, it's a whole... What is that called? An Frog. ecosystem. Yeah. Like it's symbiotic. Everything's yeah. symbiotic. Oh, that's a beautiful word. Okay. Symbiotic. But then we can incept better ideas. Oh, so, no. Like if you're a badass you're person... You're just trying to construct oh fucking human... You're trying to make your own You're trying to construct human feelings and like human emotions. I just think communism is the way to go. No! I think if everybody didn't have free will... That would be a lot better. Oh That's my crazy, god! Though. Like think about like flies. Like they fucking go and they make eggs and they eat my shit and then is, they fucking die. What a simple life. My question is, when the fuck did women start having rights? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Hey, no, that kidding. was the biggest mistake we ever made. <laughs> you just, just wanted kidding. to say some stupid shit. Just hey, it's good. <laughs> Listen, guys, women are only good for three. <laughs> oh my god, guys. That's gonna be like an occurring. Yeah, every episode, we just I gotta love, say some stupid shit. I love women, that, dude. Like my yeah, sure. my like I don't know. I love women. Women make this world what it is did like, you i mean we can't be because i mean you're into the weightlifting world i don't know if you saw this guy what he did he um he was like because you know how there's this debate going on now how there's like no biological difference between men and women oh that he broke that. he broke a woman's yeah. record so he's like i'm gonna break the woman's record without even trying that's because so he's he a goes, bitch and he just fucking broke that record that's right because there. he's a bitch and he couldn't compete with other men no but i think what he was trying to prove is that there is there is a, a difference. biological difference and i think oh, for sure and i think there what he's to trying be. to prove is that was it that guy that was on Joe Rogan? Uh, maybe. Maybe. No, no, no. He was on some other episode, I think. Okay. On the Dan Rubin or some shit. And then, but they're trying to make all these, like, now men are going to be able to play, like, in women's leagues. And that's just not fair. No. Like, there is biological differences. Like, if you put the NBA national, like, the Warriors against the best female team, unfortunately, like... It's not going to... They're going to lose. You know? And I do think that there is, like, some sports where... Maybe where just physicality isn't the only the like thing. You know what I mean? Like you know where I Golf? have seen stuff like actually strangely Golf. enough in MMA, a woman's MMA has like changed. Oh my a god! Lot. Did you see Carla Esparza's fight? I hate that again. I put a seat but against like, what's her name? Um, Alexa Grasso. Grasso. Yeah, dude, it was a badass. Fucking it was a pretty fight. good what fight. What the yeah, fuck yeah, do yeah. you mean? Yeah, she she does okay. She has somewhat of a stand up, but she has a fucking heart. Like mm-hmm. she all, they she almost got knocked broke out. Her arm. Basically. She broke it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she hyperextended yeah, it. Yeah, it went out of place. Uh, dude, that girl has a She heart. does. She's tough as fuck. Tough I as think I just didn't like her because I feel like Alexa won the fight and they gave it to her. Dude, Gala. she Alexa Grosso lost. Think, you think she lost? She lost both of the one and two rounds. And then she got... It. Carla Esparza got tired and Grosso came around and started banging her up and all of this. Which I wouldn't mind seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. And yeah, then... She's pretty hot. I like yeah, both of them. Yeah. And then, you think Carla Spice is hot? Yeah, dude. She looks I'm like a dog. I thought you agreed and then you sequestered. I did? <laughs> yeah. No, anyways, anyways, like, yeah, they're that's pretty hot. Wait, 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 anyways, hot. anyways. Anyways. Yeah, Stop back inside. the fucking turn. She yeah. lost the third round. She did lose the third round, but she did not lose the first and second round. But, uh, I don't know. Carla Esparza won the first and second round. <laughs> Are you okay, man? This is getting you. No, I'm just kidding. She took her down multiple times. She was controlling the octagon. But Alexa Grasso did beat the shit out of her in the third round. The third round she if did. she could have done that since the second round, she would have probably won that I fight. I need to watch it again so I can watch it again. See. Yeah, I was, I, I was, I was pissed off at Yair and, and, and uh, that, I, I wanted could, to see them fight. That was going to be a good fight. I thought that was fucked up that they were throwing shit at them. And like, I thought that was perfect. It, that's you what, think so? That's what Mexican people do. Uh, we want to see chingazos like... It is. I just think it re- misrepresents though. Like now people are like people? Mexican people are like, ah, pinches cabrones. Like, no, oh, no. That represents Mexican people perfectly. Like you, if you bitch out, you yes, will get shit thrown at you. Ah, you pinched my leg. Woo! I'm sorry. As far as equality goes, 
Mexican people. Don't you think that there's people who probably like the fact that there are certain things that women women can do and guys Mexican. can't do? Yeah. I feel like you can't have it both ways because what does it mean to be truly equal? Does that mean that you can fucking go in a competition with a bunch of dudes and you're probably going to fucking lose because guys are just physically stronger than girls and that's not a bad thing to say that shit, you know, if it's if it's... I don't know, man. Like the it's evidence, just, it's just if the evidence analogy. is fucking amounting Te- to like testosterone is more abundant in the male body, and testosterone is what usually right. creates muscle but, mass. But the and thing like, is, well, how do you think these competitors in like in, in physique and bodybuilding and everything that are women get the muscle that they get because they're 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 fucking with their testosterone level, yeah. their natural testosterone, they're elevating it. I think we should embrace our differences and and use them to for. For to advancement. Help each other out. Like, for example, in the police department, um, women actually make better investigators than men because they are much more attentive to detail. Right. Yep. They're Which more is like very crucial to yeah, fucking exactly. solving crimes. Yeah, so women are better at men at other things. At Way men. better. Yeah. Also They like, handle themselves better too. Yeah. Because as far as people always say like guy, uh, girls are so emotional, I'm like, I feel like guys are the most emotional. Yeah, because, because, yeah. because, because, because emotions. we're emotional as far as like we you know we get pissed off or like oh, I'm just gonna drink my problems away yeah. like that's that, if that's not emotional to you I don't know. Nah, we destroy shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, as far as men, we destroy shit. Like fuck it, like I'm gonna fucking punch the wall. And yeah. Man. Yeah. Like, have you ever been in a bad situation? Instead of like calming down and be like, nah, fuck, I'm just gonna keep breaking it or I'm just gonna break it more. Yeah. I've been in fights like that with Melissa all the time because like instead of like calming down and be like, hey, I need to take a second. I'm fucking prideful and I'll be like, oh, man, I'm just gonna like, fucking make it worse and I'll just fucking, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make I'll it worse same. as fuck. But she's I'm the same. and then she's all collected. Oh man, I hate that shit because you know you lose once you fucking oh once you lose <laughs> once you like, lose cook once you lose your shit. You're like I fucking lost already. Dane Cook. <laughs> Why do you approach it that way though? It's not a competition. Wait, wait, like Dane Cook is like once you see that one tear roll down her eye, you won. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's a bad idea. Like absolutely, approach, <laughs> I didn't say it was a good idea. I'm just saying I've lost a lot. Of fucking fought a lot. Uh, of you know, keeping tallies and shit, Melissa. When a one, nah, right. dude, I'm, that's exhausting. Do I need? <laughs> you that's would. exhausting. You <laughs> would. Greg, what? He's like, yeah. fuck, tally. Nah, tally. Like the moment I fucking go, well, you're a fella. I'm like, oh shit. Oh my god, dude. No, I I try so hard to just like. I mean, I don't even have to try that hard. It means any like arguments we ever had is just like. You know, I'm too hot or whatever. Like, <laughs> just get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. It happened, man. Oh, uh, do we have to have sex again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, three times oh, in one shit. time. Jeez. God, your dick is so big. Oh, dude. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, I think, <laughs> babe, I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> It's just you. Is it okay if I make you orgasm one more time? <laughs> man, I don't please. know if I can handle it. <laughs> it's like, fuck, man. You want to orgasm again? God damn it, all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually disagree with what you said earlier, though, about the emotions. What? I feel like women, are, women. have... Yeah, women have more <laughs> emotions within them because of their hormones and because of their, like, periods and because of their... I actually think men can be more... Because we don't have to deal with, like, pain. Like fucking once a month and right. and hormonal changes. Like right, we're right, pretty, right. but I mean we all have stable. the same emotions. I'm just saying that guys are just I'm fine. We can say equally as emotional, but the thing is that most of the time for our for as far as how we express it, it's usually through anger, yeah, or breaking yeah. shit, or we, we throwing tantrums. We throw tantrums. That's what we fucking do. Does the weightlifting and stuff help you though to like mitigate that? I think it, you need them to release. You know, it, I either have to. Like like I feel like boxing does it re- yeah. really good for me, or when I when I am really pissed or like upset, I do um I do ponder upon it and I think about it and I'm and like why am I really mad yeah and blah 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 but then I use it like you said as fuel yeah. I do use it as fuel yeah no I will not lift more weights or <laughs> like, no that's right, right. any bodybuilder that says that is dumb like but you you do that as like you know what. I'm gonna. I am gonna go with more vigor and more and more Challenge. intensity. Yeah, you're you know, it. I think women don't understand that men. We are full of like this, like rage. It's primal, dude. It's it primal is primal. Yeah, it's, dude. We watch guys in a cage fuck each other. Yeah, up exactly. Yeah, for and fun. It's the, and it's not. It's the testosterone, dude. It's the testosterone. Because we're so goodness. used. To, I mean, think about like our origins. Like guys were the ones that would go out there and like beat the shit out of. Yeah, and for really me, like, with the club. plastics. Have run, running, <laughs> running the soul. Oh, I don't know how you don't run anymore, dude. Like, doesn't that help you fucking relax? Oh, for running? sure. Yeah. Like, I meditate me, too. Yeah. Oh, meditation. That's it's, you. I've been wanting to get into that, but I'm just not patient. About five minutes a day. 
Just wake up like 10 minutes earlier than you usually do. I don't meditate that much. Me it's good. Well, I do, it's just but, breathing. but now where I stop. Yeah. I meditate like while I'm driving. Or what I'm, do you do then? I just think about think about uh, my existence. Okay. Think about my existence and what is happening, what is going on, how I can better things, how I, how I I'm actually have to start giving myself a pat in the back and be like, you know what, I am doing good. Oh, Instead okay. of always bashing myself like, you know what, you're fucking up. I was like, you it's know cool. what, you're doing yeah. good. You you did you do you can improve here, but you know what you did do some great things and blah 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 like Damn. instead of just always bashing right. yourself like fuck I don't have this I don't have that yeah. like, I'm just a piece of shit like that's cool that's that you do that yeah I think honestly like I've heard it from so many people the reason I think what meditation works to be uh if you want to go scientifically it's because you're breathing with a purpose you think about like you're breathing it's something mm. you do automatically but probably you're breathing when you're talking to shit it's probably like this like. When's the last time you actually took a like solid five minutes of just deep breaths? That's all it is. That's what I do when I when I meditate, and I just think, and I just think about it. It's and people say like you gotta clear your mind and find nirvana. I was like, nah, Tom you're gonna Gracie. be fucking thinking about a bunch of shit. But just focus on your breathing. Just always breathe. keep thinking in, out, and like, dude, you breathe like that for five minutes. Like, oh my god, like you wake you fucking wake up. The timer goes off, and you're like, wow, man, I feel so lighter because it, well, it, it, when's the last time I took in so much oxygen? Well, that's what I'm about to tell you. It's because there's so much blood. Yeah, and like dude, oxygen it feels going so to your good. brain try and you it, get man, lightheaded and you're like I put a white That's noise? what weightlifting does for me because yeah. that's why I like I love going to the very last breath and rep that I have to where I'm all like my my blood vessels yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of fucking I pop. Went. And I get lightheaded and I'm like <sighs> When did you start weightlifting? <laughs> when? In high school. Yeah, yeah. Damn, do you think that was part of your like going back to growing up? <laughs> part of you Damn, a long... transitioning to your next phase in your life? Starting weightlifting? Absolutely. Was it like a gateway to helping you get there? Yeah, because at first, <laughs> we go back to adulting, uh, to transitioning. Back in the day, like I did it for the looks. I did it because, mm -hmm. okay, it does stem back from when I was younger. I was a chubby yeah. kid and blah, blah, blah. I had, um, um, how, does it, how do you say it? The fucking... Self-esteem? Not self-esteem. I never had self-esteem problems. Fuck no, dude. This I guy's... I, I had... Um, <laughs> I had um, the way that I see that I would see myself, I didn't like it. Yeah. So I so wanted to change perception. it. The perception that I had that I had of myself. So I wanted to change it. So I started I started weightlifting in two thousand and eight. I was in high school. Two thousand eight, two thousand seven. Um I started lifting in high school and even when I got my surgeries on my, both of my knees, I would still lift weights. Yeah. I was still in the weight room lifting weights. Just because I liked it and I wanted to look good for the bitches. So that's everything what caught you got you in. Initially, yeah. Initially, and then from there it grew. Yeah, from there it grew. Initially, it was very therapeutic because it would ease it would ease my my anxiety of not yeah. not uh, looking a certain way because since I was young I was all oh you're gordito or like <laughs> shit like that. But then I was always I was always also told like oh you have a good frame like that's what like you you actually yeah. you're pretty dude it's because Mexican people like it's just so much criticism. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's from your own culture. family, dog. Yeah, but your family is like, no, you have to muy bonito. Yeah, te muy gordo. Like my mom always tells me every it's, day, like, that's me flaco, mi It's always the same thing. Man, no tengo hambre, chingo. It's always the same thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same thing, though, because if you gain a bunch of weight, they're like, ay, mijo, ya no coma tanto. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Ya, te gustan las harinas, verdad? Like they ay. want you to be perfect, like in that. There it's is like, no damn. Uh, do you, you should have been like you okay, jefa? Do you ever? <laughs> oh, dude, no, I said some shit like that to my mom. Like I was kind of half joking, but like I don't think she took it. Like, yeah. I, like I thought she would. I thought she would think it was kind of funny, but she kind of. She got kind of like 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 she she kind of just went like. Because uh, she, she, she kept she kept she kept talking shit about. She always tells her my brother he's like shit, which he does. He eats like junk food all the time. Y luego le digo, pues, y la, ah, ma, usted ni puede comer este, un pedazo de dulce sin morirse, que she has diabetes. Oh, that is. Oh. But I was just being, but like, listen, I, that's how me and my mom talk to each other sometimes, and like, I guess I took it a little too far. Like, she didn't get mad, but she just kind of, she kind of went like, oh. Like that, she kind of just like, when I was like, oh, too far. I was like, too far. Was she cooking for you at that moment? Uh, She's spitting your food. Nah, everybody was there. She was like, mija. <laughs> I'm gonna abort you now, you pendejo. Pendejo. Do you ever think about how different your life would have been? Or do you think your life would have been much different if you didn't blow out your knees and you would have gotten that scholarship from the Aggies? Oh shit. Uh, no. I think, I, think I would have done the same Oscar. shit. I think I would have done the same shit. I would have, because a lot of my friends went to Anime so. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I would have, I would have partied my fucking oh, okay. life away. 
Yeah. I yeah. still partied. I went to, we drove to cruises just to party. We would go on like night times. It was so crazy that the, the only two games I ever watched him he fucking blew my shit up. You saw it happen? The How first... come my family? Every time my family would go to yeah. my games, my like my parents went to see me play and my knee and like. Well, I was there for the first one. I was there for the first one and then we left and then the second one we took you. To, I was in the hospital with you, remember? And I'm like, isn't this your? Didn't you blow your knee last time? And you're like, yeah, but this is my other one. Oh, two blown knees. How did you say it happened? I forgot. The the first time I was just fucking around and. Like my body, I have my. It's because I've always been really top heavy. So <clears throat> when I planted my foot, my body just kept going. So I, this one was my meniscus, and then this one actually. And you were playing though during that. Yeah. No, I was just fucking around on my left knee, and then oh, my right okay. knee. I had somebody up here blocking, and then somebody else chop blocked me. But they chop blocked me while my knee was like in place. Uh, so my knee was like that, and then they like, and my knee just went to the side like. And just, I was like, oh, and I, like when I when it happened, I was like, ah, oh, my knee, I know it. And so I didn't get up. I was like, fuck, my knee is I'm done. And then the coaches were all like, fucking Rocha, get the fuck up, you pussy, or whatever. And I'm like, bitch. And you looked and you're like, well, that went well. That's what you said to yourself. <laughs> and I was like, womp, womp, womp. how long have we been going on this? Uh, about an hour and a half. Nah, about like an hour and 20 minutes. You want to end yeah. it now? Let's finish it off with, um, with, the, the, fart. with the phase of our life we are in now. <laughs> this, <laughs> with how buff I am. And what like what phase do you think is next for us? Ooh, I know the next phase for us is that everything that we ever wanted is going to come true. Hollywood. I know it's badass. Oh, we I fucking know it. I know it because we are, we are very fucking outgoing people and we set everything out to the universe and we work hard for it. Yeah, and we're working hard for so it. So I know like everything, everything that we wanted, it's going to happen. And I know it's going to happen. I've, I know it. I know it. Fucking fuck. You're getting excited, dude. Yeah, it's going to happen, dude. I know it. I know it. Like nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens just because everything happens because we've, we've worked hard for it. And Have you ever um, worried about like once you reach all your goals... What's what like? What do you feel next after that? I I feel like I'm gonna not give up, but I'm I'm gonna stop and like, are you feel satisfied? accomplished. Yeah, yeah, feel satisfied. I feel like like that's what happened to Conor McGregor. Like he reached that pinnacle that he wanted to reach, and he he got stuck. Like he's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? And you, what do you think happens? You just like you become this just. I feel like I become more zen. Person? Yeah, just like. Have you ever seen Beach Bum? I never seen that. It's it's a good movie by Matthew McConaughey. I feel like that's gonna be me. Like I'm just gonna live it, happy enjoy it, enjoy it. Right right. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah. Just enjoy it, and that was it. What happened happened, and I cannot control it. And See, mom. enjoy it. I had a beautiful conversation with my mom last time because she's my mom is sixty four, I believe, and she's already getting no older. Way. And stuff. Yeah. She looks she I'm looks 63. like she has in fucking Jesus age. Christ. Yeah, some, she takes really good care of herself. Yeah, skin. she does. But we were talking about how, because during like this, a couple of months ago, I was having like, or for a while, the existential crisis where I was just scared yeah. of death or whatever. She's like, no, Nico, like, don't be scared or whatever. So then slowly, every time we talk a little bit more, we talk a little bit more. And she's like, you know what? She's like, one day you're going to reach a moment in your life where you're just tired, where you're just done. Like you've, you've done everything you mm -hmm. wanted to do. She's like, I have a few more things that I want to do. She's like, I want to go to Spain. She's like, I want to go... She has a few places she wants to visit. She's like, but at this point, she's like, I've already experienced bad things. I've experienced good things. Uh, she's like, if if I were to die, she's like, it doesn't really. Right. I guess. Yeah. So right now, I'm so scared of death because I still have so you many so much, things you have, I want to do. You have do. so much yearning. This yeah. It's like that bucket list, that movie, the bucket yeah. list movie. So I don't know. It's a know. good movie. Jack I like this. Right? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson and, and uh, Freeman? Morgan Freeman. I wish I could yeah. tell you and if I had the good fight. So I can't picture myself <laughs> in her position because I'm not there. You know, it's hard for yeah. the human mind to imagine yourself Dude, it's somewhere. So fucking, that's that's what I'm excited for, you know, because like we, we just talked about, we, we're talking about growing up. We're not the same people we were. If we had done this podcast when we were little kids, we'd be talking about completely different things. <laughs> and like as far as like our, our outlooks for the future and our goals would be completely different. Yeah. So if it's, I would love to, if we could do this again 10 years from now. And we could probably, there's probably gonna be a lot of shit that we talked about like the next today day. that we're gonna dismiss and be like, what the fuck were we talking about before? But I just did, a, we just did a podcast about that, my wife and I, uh, uh, and we were talking about that shit. Like everything that we're saying right now, even in the podcast, I was saying like everything that you're listening to right now, five years from now, it's gonna be completely irrelevant. Because I'm gonna, there's gonna be, you can have this, uh, new experiences situations. are gonna be changing. Yeah, new You're situations. gonna experience new shit. Look at all yeah. that stuff that's happened just in our lifetime. 
Yeah. Can you imagine ten years? Years? We got yeah. to experience the internet. Yeah. Can you imagine we, ten years from now? You can't even imagine it, dude. We didn't experience any wars yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? We did though. But not like World Desert War Storm. One or Two. Oh, you mean like where? Like where it's like all the have to go. Yeah, like we have to oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, I guess yeah so. you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, yeah, of course, the, Af- the Afghan you war. You never went to Iraq? Did you ever go to Iraq? Uh, I went to Qatar, but no. Qatar? Okay. Guitar? Guitar? <laughs> but, yeah, man, like I said, that's what I'm curious for. Like, I can't even imagine, man. It's like the curiosity. Like, what, what the fuck are we going to be So if you prioritizing were, you're looking at the camera right now and you're looking at yourself 10 years from now, what do you want to tell yourself? <sighs> tell Greg. Eat more ice cream. Fuck a lot more. Damn. More, dude? And smoke weed. <laughs> What do you want to tell? I did my best. <laughs> what happened? That's all that's I can say. Like that's, like that's, I mean, that's all I can fucking say. <laughs> I did my best. I try to kill everyone I couldn't do. That. Oh <laughs> no, God. just I like to no, for real. Like that's all you can really tell yourself, man. I mean, yeah, what I fuck? Because you look. That's what I always tell you guys. You gotta do the best that you fucking can. That way, when you go back and you look back and like, hey, fuck, everything was out of my control, man. I, I did what I had I to do. Yeah. Everything that I could and everything else. I want to tell anymore. future Earth something. Let's see you tell. Tell him to stop jerking off. Heck no, dude. <laughs> Hurry. Increase it. Hurry. Yeah. If you're watching this. He sounds like mm-hmm. a fucking... Give me like a press conference. Wait, here we Maybe go. you're apologizing. Wait, wait, stop. I just want to tell you. You're fucking badass. You. You. Wow. <laughs> You've done everything you try to do. Well, not everything, what? but... Everything that you really tried to do. Right? What? <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> I'm like your lawyer. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> Damn, what do I want to tell you? I just want to say, Irvin. I just want to say, Irvin. Just stay optimistic. Yeah, don't worry. It actually happens. Life has a way of working out. Working itself out? Also, Irvin, um, you know, take every experience and roll with it. Learn from it. Live it. It's life. There you go. <laughs> Remember these coordinates. Would you Three, like to I, I, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Do I want to tell Future Oscar? He's looking at you right now, dude. If he's, Why, Future Oscar is looking at me right now. He's watching you, dude. That's crazy, huh? Be like you did it, dog. Damn! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's how fucking that's how fucking certain I am of yeah, shit. Yeah. Oscar, just tell him though. Well, first tell him to take the dick out of his hand. Damn! <laughs> I'll be like, hey, hey Oscar, put, hey, stop, Oscar play, Oscar stop playing with yourself for a second. Podcast. Oscar, wire us some money. I win. Back in the future. If you haven't invested in Disney already, then you fucked. You fucked. You lost it. It's over. Wire back to money, dog. Do you guys have a couple? Stocks, by the way? Wire back a couple, a couple thousands. Disney stock and cold calls. Wire yeah, back a couple thousands, dog. A couple thousands dog. for all of us, dog. Are you already investing in your retirement? Yeah, I know doing? crazy. Have a Roth IRA. There's crazy ass weed in the future, yeah, so Roth we want some of that shit too. And stocks. What are you investing in though? Like I need stocks? to I need to open a Roth a, a Roth fucking account. Yeah, because I do have a I do have a fucking. You need to get out of account. debt first. If I can give you any okay, advice, okay, it's not crippling debt. I have like fifteen hundred dollars worth of debt. Oh my god, dude! And you're sitting with my debt. You add like, add oh. all of the payments that you have. That's debt. That's money you're not using for yourself. Six hundred dollars. I'm saving money. Yeah. <laughs> Rigid bean plug. soup. Shameless future, plug. Future, future Oscar. Shameless plug. Future Tell. Oscar. Tell future Greg. Thank you for <laughs> watching the save the save money podcast. Yes. Look how look how look how close we are now. Hey, watch. If I wanted, if I learned anything in business school about investing, you didn't go to fucking business. It's invest in mutual funds, also known as IRAs, whorehouses, sex sales. Because those index funds, they... What are you guys looking at? We need to no, have, no, you, know what we, we, you know what we need to start doing? We need to start having like girls with like your tits out and shit. That would That'll get us some views. views. Yeah, for, but yeah. it'll also get us demonetized. It's not like really? we demonetize it anywhere. Yeah. What's wrong with goobs? Um, it's YouTube, dude. Like little kids are watching it in their tablets and shit. Damn, imagine we got demonetized for you showing your tit. No, but we can't, we can't, we can't monetize anyway. Why is that okay? Why can you show your tit? Oh my god, that's a whole different topic. Okay. Next, next, next time we'll talk about uh, why, why women can't show their tits, yeah, but guys can. Done. Yeah, I'm I want, I'm hungry. Oh okay, damn, okay. dude! Well, why you? Why you don't get up? Wait. All I right. See my legs. I'll see you guys. Okay. Well, that's it, guys. Check us out on Instagram. Wait, are we gonna do the Moraleja where we talk oh, about like? Fuck. Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't do that last time. Yeah, we did. La Marmoleja. La, la Marmoleja. The, the moral of today's story is... No, not the moral of today's story, but you're just saying like a general... Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, no, we're, we're, we're also supposed to recommend something. Yeah, I actually have three songs I want to recommend. I have you ready. always have like fucking... Why well, you always have so much shit to give... Okay, go for it. Because I think about it during the week. So, I mean, just... A song that keeps coming back into my life that I love <laughs> and that I always listen to. What am I connected to? 
Mm. Is um, Test and Recognize by CK. There's also a fume rework. I would just fume, flume. I would just listen to the song on repeat every day. C-K. It's badass. If anybody well, wants to spell it off for him, because it's. S E E K A E. Seek A. The song like is the called word Seek and Test and Recognize. Test and Recognize. So that was that's definitely like number one. And mm-hmm. then another cool hip hop song that I've been listening to is JPEG Mafia. You know who that is? JPEG Mafia. No. He's pretty dope. North 1539 Calvin. North Calvern. That's the song. Okay. Um, great song. And then the last one. Uh, if anybody likes The Strokes, now Julian Casablanca has started a new band called The Voids, Julian which uh, beautiful music. It's more experimental. And it's called Wink. Mm-hmm. That's the song I would like people to listen to. So you, Oscar? Something to try? Or what do you something new, recommend, something recommend? Or something to advise? I recommend, you, you, I recommend you guys go as heavy as you can, Ooh. as fast as you can, for as many reps as you can. Ooh. And that will fucking give you a badass sick pump. And then after, the, after you're done with that set of whatever you're doing... Fucking go into the FS7 system uh, that was fucking put in place by Honey Rambat, where you fucking leave leave one thing up and then you work with the oh, other one. I've done that before. So you dude. do ten reps and then ten reps and then eight and then eight and then six and then six and then you do ten. That shit will give you a sick pump. Shit, so, I've done that. It hurts when you're so holding. So heavy, do as heavy as you can, as fast as you can, for as many reps as you can, and that's gonna work perfect. Okay. What about you? Right, you, you Ladies and gentlemen, the human body does not like to be woken up. Have you have you guys been noticing that you start waking up five, ten minutes before your alarm even goes off? That's because your body doesn't like to be bothered when it's sleeping. So what I suggest you do is use that extra time. You say you guys don't have extra time to meditate and all that shit? Bullshit. You know how you always wake up five minutes or ten minutes before your alarm goes off? Set your alarm to those ten minutes before. Now you have some extra time to sit down and just fucking breathe for five minutes. Ladies Drink a coffee. Go to YouTube and look up white noise or ocean waves or whatever so you don't have to just listen to your fucking mind. Just sit there for Put a timer. Five minutes. Breathe in, breathe out, and just focus on that. I guarantee you breathe it's going to fucking help you. Breathe Download the podcast meditation and enter promo code Los Terricolas. And, you and you're not going to get anything off. <laughs> Maybe they will. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> no, but uh, you guys can follow us on the Instagrams and on Twitter. All that uh, shit will be on the description below. Check out my other podcast, Rejig Bean Soup, yes. here on YouTube. And now, oh. we do the outro. Oh. Oh. We do oh. the outro. Yeah. We're leaving. We're leaving. Uh, 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 Take it easy, guys. Uh, uh, Take it easy, guys. Uh, 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 Later. Oh, shit. What was that? <laughs>